Hi guys, it's Ross. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, just thought I'd show you the new arrangement of my prepping cupboard. It was previously a prepping cupboard slash wardrobe. Now it's just a prepping cupboard, other than the fact it's still sort of a wardrobe because it's still got clothes hanging in it. But I did have um, like shoe boxes and um, school shoes and all sorts of stuff in here. But it's now purely a prepping cupboard, other than the fact I've got stuff hanging up because I've got nowhere else to hang anything up. Um, so I just thought I'd take you over all the different levels of the stuff. Um, I've got the majority of my food supplies in this cupboard now. Um, previously it was in boxes up here, um, in Tupperware boxes, um, like these plastic uh, tote type box things um, up here. But now I've decided to take, because most of it was rice or pasta, all of the rice is now on this shelf and this shelf's going to be pretty much purely for rice. Um, but let's start with the uh, first shelf and I'll just tell you what I've got there. Right guys, so this here is the um, is the top shelf. Now, my first aid kit was previously in a drawer just down there. It's now located in this blue tote here. Um, so let's work from the back forward. Right, so I've got a Tilly lamp back here. I would have rather had a green one, um, but they only had them in red or yellow. Um, I decided to go with red because I prefer red to yellow. No other reason really. Um, this, these, this, these are just empty boxes. I'm sure I'll find a use for this uh, plastic uh, Halloween tin thing. Um, sorry, just adjusting the camera a bit. This here in the green box is my power cut kit. Um, instant grab sort of things. If there was a power cut, I've got. I've got uh, candles that are in jars with sand in the bottom, so that sort of bit of fire protection. I've got uh, these loads of these ten boxes of matches. I think I've got something like twelve of them in there. Um, actually, I did have twelve. Loads of them are open, um, where I've used a box of matches for fire lighting and stuff, um, and then open another one of these boxes to get another one. So I've got about I've probably got about fifty of these just sitting around in the bottom. Um, torches got this Cree light uh, and I've got this one as well this is like a uh, multiple flashy thing head torch um, and I've got these fire lighters now I'm going to do a review on these at some point there apparently they're eco-friendly but they've got paraffin in them so I don't quite understand how that works um, they're sort of wax covered so they're moisture proof and you kind of snap snap these off and then you've got a individual fire lighting thing also in this box I've got some batteries um, I haven't got that many batteries that's definitely one of the weaknesses in my preps I need to get some more um, batteries oh yeah and I've also got some, um, some of these cheap big type lighters um, they're useful for lighting right now around here at the back I have got the first aid uh, slash hygiene type box I'm not going to get that all out that's for another video I've got all sorts of stuff I've got these uh, FFP3 dust masks I've got some surgical masks right down there in the bottom I've got just some random assorted pills I've got boxes of pills I've got ibuprofen gel, which has just fallen out of the packet, uh, shampoo, Vicks Vapor Rub, shower gel, all sorts of stuff in there. Um, the only thing that I haven't really got in there that I have got sort of hygiene wise in other parts of the house is I've got a tiny bit of toilet paper. Um, I either need to get more toilet paper or someone told me, I can't remember who it was, but it was in my last video about the shit here, the fan toilet. Um, about news, um, newspaper, magazine sort of paper. If you ruffle it in your hands after a while, it becomes really soft and makes really great toilet paper. So thanks to whoever said that. Um, I've got some bleach on top of this cupboard. It's in a waterproof container. The only thing I'm worried about is if that bursts, it's going to ruin all these clothes here, and it's going to ruin all of my supplies and all of my food. So I think I'm going to have to find a new location for that one. So this is level two, nothing particularly interesting. Um, just got these bags of rice in here. Um, I have 
70 pounds of rice back here which if you're in the European Communist Union uh, <laughs> that would be 31 kilograms I believe um, this is just an empty thing I'm gonna get some of those um, powdered um, soup mixes so you can use um, for sauce on the rice and down here are my canned goods uh, baked beans, I'm not going to count how many this time, it's just getting stupid uh, baked beans, rice pudding, chopped tomatoes, uh, potatoes, peanut butter, chilli now I did learn, I can't remember if I told this before I did have two cans of this, I tried one out and I learned that it didn't really agree with me um, I was ill for a little while afterwards so I definitely won't be getting that again um, got some tuna up there rice, sorry, salt down there uh, I've got a couple of spare chocolate bars from when I was away uh, camping, just thought I'd chuck them in there, uh, some yeast for making bread, uh, for Christmas I'm going to get a, um, a vacuum sealer so then I should be able to uh, save the flour and sugar and stuff, so that should give me a bit more of a range of uh, things to do. On to the next storage area. Right, so down here I have about 30 pounds of spaghetti, or sorry pasta because I've got pasta in, not like um, what's it called? Have the shapes. They're not good. Right. Penne. Uh, I've got spaghetti and penne. I've got about twenty pounds of that, um, which is how many pounds did I say? Good. Sorry, twenty pounds, which is about in the region of twelve. I've got twelve point five kilograms, so that's twenty. Five pounds, we'll call it that, 20 pounds. Um, and this food here is the food that's currently out of debt. Debt? Out of date, sorry. These are, are like rip-offs of ramen noodles. Uh, you can't actually get ramen noodles in the UK, you can just get other ones which are similar. Um, but this is like that's supposed to be a rip-off of ramen. Um, these are out of date, but they last forever really. In fact, they're, they're about a year out of date. Uh, I've also got some custard powder in there, and this quite isn't quite out of date yet. It goes out of date in December, so I might have to trick myself to some chicken and sweet corn flavor noodle break. Sweet corn chicken and sweet corn flavor. Perhaps not. Bleach I was talking about to you earlier, and about two rolls of toilet paper. Um, there's the shoes and stuff that have been moved up here. I've got a case of a. Uh, ramen noodles back there don't even you can't even see that in that brown box there I think I've got 18 packets of ramen noodles back there um, and I've got all my survival books maps of the surrounding area or the surrounding I think I've got four four maps of the surrounding area and I've got other ones of uh, like the Yorkshire Dales and I'm walking in the Lake District um, Encyclopedias as well are great for prepping when the internet is not around. These could really come into handy. Um, obviously, you've got first, you've got first aid under F. Because I can't think of anything worse than being in a survival situation, wanting to know something and not being able to know it. Just like a general fact, nothing related to survival. Just find that very annoying. Did, I didn't even have myself in shot there. I don't think. Uh, National Geographic's. I always save them. They could be a. Uh, they could be handy also. Air rifle, another great um, prepping item. Uh, definitely can be used for hunting small game. If you ha if you live in the UK and you haven't really got the option of a gun, um, obviously you can get guns in the UK. It's just very hard to obtain. Um, air rifle is definitely the next best best thing. To be honest, if someone's shooting at you with an air rifle, you're going to go away. Um, won't go into detail. Won't open it up at the moment. That's for another. Um, another video and last but not least um, the bug out bag now I'm not going to go into details on the bug out bag today mainly because um, I haven't really got time to and this video is dragging on quite a long time already I think when I do videos on the bug out bag I'm going to have to split it up into many different modules um, similar to what the urban prep has done with his channel please correct me if you are the urban prepper and you're watching and you haven't done anything like that I believe the name to be the Urban Prepper. If not, it's not. Um, now, basically, I've been on YouTube for about two years now. Not on this channel. I've been on this channel for just over a year now. And I was on the channel 
previous channel for sort of eight months. So I've been on YouTube two years now. First channel was completely a, a sort of a survival type channel. Now I've completely neglected to even talk about the bug, bug out bag. Mainly I've made about 12 videos on it and I just can't seem to I get uh, it just doesn't seem to be working so I think I'm going to have to do like a modular type thing. Um, so thanks for watching I hope I haven't bored you too much. Um, if you found this video interesting please subscribe um, and if you like my channel um, please share the channel with your friends if you could do a shout out that would be great um, I'd love to say if you do a shout out I could do a shout out for you I don't know how many shout outs there, there's going to be um, but if you do do a shout out um, on, on your channel just uh, just tell me and I'll give I'll give you a shout out I don't want to do one of these stupid shout out for shout out things but yeah if you give me a shout out I'll give you a mention on my next video so so, so thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you later Bye.